Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. As y'all see a girl out here in these streets this morning. <laughs> I'm out here this morning, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't got my chauffeur no more with me. Yesterday was me and Giovanni. And today is just me. It's just me out here in these streets, y'all. I have to go to my job to return some stuff. Um, Yeah, I'm not nor so returning. Yeah, switch out some whatever the fuck they got going on. I don't know. Some shit they got going on. But, um... So, yep, yeah, this is what I'm doing this morning, y'all. I gotta go over here. Uh, that little shit fell on me. I don't want that. So, hold on, y'all. I don't know. This lotion been... I don't know. I'm weird when it comes to lotion. <laughs> I don't like the first little whatever shing dig that comes up out of it. I'll let that go first and then I'll take whatever comes after. But, now what I just did. Um, yeah, y'all. So, I'm out here this morning driving. Um, it's It's been going well for me. I ain't, I ain't been having no issues. Yesterday, yesterday I took the, um, I took the, my little seat pillow thingy, my jig or whatever. And, it kind of hurt me. I feel it it, 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 it rised. Like, it brought me to a level where I, I wasn't comfortable driving with it. So, I just went ahead and I just took it off. And I was like, fuck it. I don't need it. But, I just made sure the booty wouldn't go flat. <laughs> Excuse me. The booty was still there. Booty ain't go flat. Booty all good. Booty all good. Booty plumped. <laughs> booty plump plump like it need to be baby so i'm out here this morning y'all just just rolling <laughs> just rolling y'all just roll with me because it's gonna be for a quick little hot second or whatever but um just want to come and say good morning good morning everyone um yeah the last um skip the day don't act like my skills fucked up now i'm still skipping the day i don't i don't i don't wait in long lines i skip i muscle shit this is what baby talking about and this is this be my issue with baby too like you need to know how to muscle shit baby girl baby girl <laughs> we muscle out here so yeah i'm not waiting in that long ass line like no i'm finna muscle this shit on y'all ass this morning this is just what i'm gonna do I'm just saying, I need you to stay on the phone <laughs> so I can get in front of you. It be that simply. But, um, yeah, the last few weeks has been, yeah, interesting, y'all. It's been good, though. It's been rolling. It's been rolling. Shit been good, y'all. This morning, let me tell y'all what this boy did. Well, this car is backing up. I guess it needs to turn. I don't know. People weird. <laughs> people weird. Um, yeah, man. This morning I woke up uh about six fifty. Jamal. Did you ask this? <laughs> These people crazy. Um don't fuck up my whole little rotation. That they, they done fucked the whole little skip game I had going on, but it's still gonna happen. Fuck it. Um Yeah. Hold on, y'all. Let's see, because, bitch, we got to skip this hole. We got to skip this hole right here. Well, maybe the other hole, too. I'm just saying. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I did it. I skipped them. <laughs> Anywho. Um... Yes, child. I get up this morning. I go, I go out there to make sure. You know what I'm saying? I gotta check everybody. You know, you gotta get in mommy mode. You gotta check everybody. Make sure everybody good. Bitch, I went back there 650. Giovanni was back there getting his stuff together. Jalen was in the shower. All right, cool beans. I'm, uh, I'm done with Giovanni. Giovanni at the house at seven. I'm in the room. Bay laid down. I'm getting myself ready to get up out the house. 
That's it. I say we we are like somebody done, done got pulled over because you know the school zone right there in front, so they be having a little motorcycle cop. Motorcycle cop pull over somebody, so here come my nosy ass. I, I was like, oh, let me go to the front window so I can see, just so I can be nosy to see what's cut. Please sit. I look, I'm like, the bathroom light's still on. Their room light turned off. Is anyone here? So, because <laughs> I'm like, they ain't leave out yet. It's still early, but it's like, it's so quiet up here. Like, nobody is in motion, like, moving. Like, nobody got nothing to do. Like, what's going on? That's it. Jalen, mem, mem, mem. Jalen in the shower since 6.50. At this time, I don't know. I had thought it was like 7.30, but when I had went back, it was like 6.20. It was like 6.22 or whatever after I was done snapping or whatnot. But I was like, damn, my boy. You was in the shower for, from 6.50 to the time I came back there, and it was 6.20. What water bill you paying? Why we why are we in the water so long? What's that, 50? <laughs> What's that? I couldn't even calculate the shit this morning. I was so fucked up. So 50 to, to goddamn 7 o'clock. So from 7. Yeah, he was in there for about, what, 30 minutes? What the fuck? He was in there for 30 minutes, yo. I was like, why are you in here for so long? I don't even take showers like that. And y'all know I'm a water person. Like... Bro, you in here sleeping in my sleeping in my water? Like, what you got going on? Like, when you take a shower, yeah. Hey, don't don't skip your ass in front of me, and then like not move. Like, get your ass in motion, my boy. Um, like, I let you skip. I didn't even say nothing, and now you want to go slow. Um, so yeah, he was in there for about thirty minutes. And I was like, yeah, I take, you know, 15, 20. You know what I'm saying? But 30, like, boy, you better get your ass out my water. Like, he was so serious, this boy. He was like, I was like, how long were you in there? I don't know. Hey, don't do that no more. Don't do that no more. Okay? Don't do that no more. I got to pay for this water. And if my water go up, we got a problem. Cause my boy, you ain't working. We gonna have a problem. But yeah, that happened. Yeah, in the in the last few days, it's just been him. It's always him, but he always trying to figure out why is it him? Why is it him? Why he the problem? Why? Why? So the last few days, it's just talking to him, talking to him, talking to him. Let him know that my boy, you're you're a young man. Like you're 14. You're about to be 15 years old, and we can't we can't be doing the same thing we did yesterday today like it that cost that cost them went up my boy like come on <laughs> yesterday's price is not today's price type thing so yeah you gotta teach these kids man like it just ugh, it's just so much it's just so much but the thing is you got to get things in order because shit be out of order and people be out of order. I really feel a lot of people be out of order because and when I say people on what I'm speaking of in general, like I feel, don't make me blow my horn at you, please, sir. Please, whoever you is in this vehicle, don't, don't make me blow my horn at your ass. At the next light, turn left. Thank you. Um, yeah, so... When I say people, I mean, I'm going to just get to it. I mean, grandparents. I mean, grandparents. They need to let these damn kids fall in on their ass. Like, just let them fall. Like, they got to. We had to. Shit, it ain't hurting them. And if it is hurting them, it's only because they being disobedient. I'm going to just say it like that. They got to. So, the other night... There was a situation that happened, but my old boy gonna hit me up like some shit gonna shake. My okay, my people know I'm I'm a little loony, 
pay. Like, I, like shit, shit, I'm not trying to understand. I'm not going to understand it. And if there is an understanding surrounding whatever you're trying to explain to me, I will get Hazard you reported ahead in a quarter mile. Yes, you're still yes, on the I fastest route. Let people know my business. At the light, use the left lane to merge onto I-75 North. So, so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to cut her off for a second. Hold on. So, um, yeah, so, yeah, an incident happened the other night, like, <clears throat> like, my, my, my dad come calling me about something Jalen don't told him, blah, 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 like, something gonna shake, like, nothing, nothing is gonna change because you have to, you have to understand when, when you were, when you were young, our parents didn't treat us like they're treating their grandchildren okay let me say that how y'all how y'all fucking molded y'all ugly ass grandkids i'm gonna go there because they be getting on my nerves they be getting on my nerves they're not ugly but i'm just saying y'all know i'm just using that as a form of speech right now like how y'all be treating y'all ugly ass grandkids y'all ain't used to treat us like that Y'all ain't used to go to war. How y'all go to war for y'all grandkids? Y'all ain't go to war for us. Y'all let us. Y'all let us fucking drown in the motherfucking paint every day. We'll tear this ass up every day if need be. When whenever, like y'all did the most to us because we had to. We had to. You know what I'm saying? Pay for what we did. Basically, we had to pay for what we did. So. Why is it that, ooh, I think I'm going to catch this light. Why is it that your your grandkids now in this badass century we're in now, why the fuck they can't go through what they need to go through? Why y'all feel like, oh, that's a whole bitch. Um, why y'all feel like y'all got to save these motherfuckers? Why y'all feel like y'all gotta save them when y'all ain't saved us? Y'all beat our ass. Let's just go there. We was punished. We was, you know what I'm saying? We got, well, back in our days, of course, it wasn't electronics like that. It wasn't all these gadgets and all these bullshit they got going on now. They ain't have that shit back then. So that shit ain't affect us. We just couldn't do shit. We couldn't do shit, but we tried to find shit because if you was if you was smart enough you would have tried to find a job or something something to keep your you know what I'm saying like an activity to do in school and all that shit if you were smart enough you would have did some shit like that however um that was us back then trying to find something to do because we didn't have all these things that these kids are connected to the nowadays where it's like shit you take it you take one thing away, my my boy, like the whole, like you took a piece of their heart. You took a piece of their heart. So how, how parents are, how grandparents are acting with their grandkids, it just fucking blows my mind. And then they think they can come to you. Mm -mm -mm. Then they think they can come to you. I think one of my tires flat. Then they are oh, going flat. So then they think they can come to you and pretty much, oh, your child this and blah, they blah, that. And you're supposed to just drop everything you're doing to make sure they're good. No, fuck that. I didn't make sure they was good from the beginning because they needed a lesson learned. No? And that's how it go? They needed a lesson learned. I think we learned that from y'all ass. <laughs> I mean, why are we bad parents now? Because we practice in what we was taught. <laughs> we was taught the shit. We was taught the shit. So now we're trying to teach our child the shit. But you as grandparents, you guys come to be their fucking advocate, their, their attorney at law. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And now you want to fucking fight for their rights. Get mama rights to you, okay? <laughs> Y'all get on my fucking nerves at this point. Get mama rights to you because it was a get mama rights new, okay? So, who I just need to get that out. So, anywho, so he comes to call and 
my boy. He swear some shit was finna shake up. Like, man, at this point, get off my phone. Just get off my phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, I be feeling like, bro, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ruin my blessings that I know for sure God has is given to me and any blessings that plan on coming my way. I'm not finna ruin it with cussing your ass out, man. Like, I'm not finna ruin it with cussing your ass out. So I will kindly and politely let you run your mouth, let you say what you need to say, and hang the fuck up. I'm gonna hang the fuck up but because at the end of the day, how my household is ran, how we do shit over here, and how other others do over there. I'm saying, if you feel me, you feel what I'm talking about. How you run your household and what you do in your household is just what it is and how it go. You know what I'm saying? Can't no grandparent tell you now. I be feeling like they hold hypocrites, man. They're hypocrites. Because, bro, you know for sure we was Ajenu. We had baton like a motherfucker. We had all type of shit. We couldn't do not a fuck shit. But these lazy, ugly-ass grandkids y'all got, y'all just want to baby the shit out of them. Get mine, yo. Nah, it ain't working like that. That shit ain't going down like that. And that's that's just where I'm at with it today. That was just my little rant this morning. Because, I, like I said, the last few weeks... Since I had surgery has just been, oh, y'all been coming out the Woolworths. And I, I love me. Again, I love me, so I love how I've been handling that shit. I love how I've been handling it because I feel like I'm in order, man. I'm humble enough to, I'm humble enough to let what needs to slide, slide. And what, what you know... What is in my control, I control it. If it's out of my control, I let that shit go and I let God get it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm I'm just so proud of me. I'm proud of me and I'm proud of the woman that I became. And not that this big booty in place and flat stomach is in place. Like, bitch, don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. This a whole new, you know what I'm saying? It's a whole new level. It's a whole new level. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? It's just... I don't know. I don't know what people think. I don't know why other people think their shit is not in order. Their shit is not together. We all trying to get our shit together. So why you think your two cent is gonna fucking come over here and make four over here? No, I don't threw your two cents away because guess what? I'm still running my shit how I need to run my shit. Like, it's just not working like that, my boy. Like, it's just not, it's just not. <laughs> Y'all, I had to get off so I can find a, um, a better route. I can find a better route, but I'm gonna pull up right now. I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna pull up. But yeah, I was just, I was just thinking about it, man, because I was like, it's crazy how I had this surgery and I couldn't even give myself time to heal. I'm thank God I've I've been healing in my own way, you know what I'm saying? But it's just so much shit that's been coming behind it. I'm like, what the fuck? It's just it's been so much. <laughs> it's been so much. And I've been just trying to hold it down the best I can, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like damn, I can't even I can't even kind of get y'all a decent, um, damn, this little bumpy shit over here. I feel like, damn, I haven't even had time to really, I feel like I really haven't even had, hold on, y'all. I guess it's going to stay right there until I park. I just feel like I really haven't have had time to come to y'all to kind of give y'all an update on me. Like, I want to give, like, the before, you know, the experience. I Like, I can't, I can't, I can't even give y'all my fucking experience. It's been so fucking much because I kind of feel like since I got back home, I just been... Since I got back home, shit, 
I literally been going ham. I ain't, I ain't never seen no shit like this in my life. Like I literally, the week I got home, I probably chilled for a week. I'm trying to get out this damn sun. I probably chilled for a week because I did need that week. I needed that week. And shit. After that, bitch, a real bitch been like really back on my grind. Like I really been back on my grind. I really have been um working. I've been working, handling the house, making sure I heal, make sure I haven't I haven't been taking any um what you call the shit? Any uh pain relievers or anything lately. Um so that's a good that's a good thing as well too. I haven't been taking any pain relievers, but today I felt like when I leave here, I gotta go to I gotta go to CVS so I can get something for Giovanni. And also, I was like, I'm gonna get me um a bottle of um some Tylenol because I be feeling I be you know what I'm saying I, it be aching here and there, but nothing major, nothing major. So I just we have, but Bay got all that arthritis shit at the house, <laughs> which. It's not a bad thing. I mean, baby, aching and shit. And I be aching, but lately it hasn't been my bones. It literally just been fucking pain, of course. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah, all that fucking Aleve, you know, arthritis shit. Like, nah, I need some... I need some goddamn quick release gel. <laughs> get it, get into my body. Like right now, right now, like quick release. You know what I'm saying? That's what I need. That's what I need. Uh -huh, I need. And that's that's just what I need. So when I leave here, I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna go to CVS. Go to CVS and um. Yeah, I get that real quick. And from there, take it back to the house, man. But yeah, I kind of just wanted to come and speak on that shit because I felt like, man, a lot of the shit is like timing. You know what I'm saying? Timing. And when I find the time, I'll be able to do those type of things until I get there, until I get to where I want to be then we can calm down settle in and then speak on really what's good because at this time i just i think i said this not too long ago so many so many devils and so many um what you call that shit opinions and all that extra shit just be coming out the woodworks you know what i'm saying and i be feeling like it's a it's opinions just to say what they want to say but not really saying what the fuck it is and not really speaking on reality you know what i'm saying like i speak on reality and i speak on what it is in front of me like i don't i'm not trying to sugarcoat it make it sweet for my kids because guess what when they go out there no one else is going to sugarcoat it for them they're going to give it to them how it is this business go how it is you know what i'm saying like that's just what the fuck it is but hey hey you know it, that's that's just all it is grandparents like we love you guys however you guys don't know your limit i feel like you guys don't know your limit you guys are so into baby our grandchildren mode but not um on this century shall i say you guys are not on this century because how y'all raised us then and how they're being raised now is two different motherfucking pieces okay i'm just saying and we we have to do this we have to do this but you know what i'm saying we got to do it in or tur our order we got to do it how we need to do it to handle our hours grandparents you guys can't be saving the motherfucking day when they turn around and they come back and do the same fuck shit again fuck no fuck no so that's just what i had to say about that man i just really couldn't 
sit down. But I'm I'm all right with it. Excuse me. I feel I'm all right with it only because I feel like at the perfect time, I'll be able to chill. Until then, I'm a grind. Fuck that. I'm grinding. I'm doing what I need to do. Until then, I'm a grind. I'm not tripping. I'm not worried about what he say, she say, what grandparents say, what all that shit should say. I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that. Mm -mm. I'm not worried about that because cause I love my blessings. Like, blessings been coming, man. And I be feeling like I, I meditate. I meditate a lot. Like, lately, I've been heavily meditating. I've been heavy on that shit. I've been heavy because I've been asking. And you know how some day, sometimes they say, well, basically, they say, um, be careful what you ask for. I've been asking for what's for me. I've been asking. I've been asking God. I ain't going to even lie. I've been asking Father God to give me the words to give me the wisdom, to give me the knowledge, to address certain situations, how they need to be dressed. Because respect is a big thing for me. You know what I'm saying? And this is what I teach my kids. Respect is a big thing. That's why I felt like the other day I ain't snap on my old boy like I, like I felt like it needed to be done. Like I felt like that needed to be done. But <laughs> a snapping was like right there at the tip snapping was at the tip but because i'm a changed woman let me tell y'all i'm telling you i'm a changed woman i'm changed man like i love me don't get me wrong i'm still fanny i'm still all that good shit but when it comes to addressing certain situations and addressing certain things mm, Some people don't need to be addressed like that. You some some people you just be like, Father, I'm gonna leave it in your hands. But y'all, I gotta go. They text me. Listen, I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all in a minute. No, real quick. That's my boo. Say hey. Hey. <laughs> then go to the other boo. Say hey. Jeff, say hey. Jeff. Hey. <laughs> this is what happens when I come in office, y'all. That's right. <laughs> I'm walking out now, y'all. I'm leaving. Gotta head back to the house. But it was good seeing everybody that I need to see and handle what I need to handle. So, the girl heading back home. So, I see y'all in a little bit. Oh, FedEx truck. Truck done kind of blocks me in a little bit. But anywho, I see y'all. Yeah, girl. Yeah, I know she ordered Starbucks. I'm pretty sure that's ours. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Yeah, I know I'll be jamming to my little song. But anywho, coffee down, CVS down, time to hit the house. Um, let y'all up in a little bit. Got a vibe, got a vibe, got a vibe. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up? This good hump day, y'all. It is hot as shit out here. Oof, it is hot, y'all. It's really hot. But, as usual, y'all know, me and baby having to do a little errands and run them real quick and everything. And, woof, I don't know what's going on. They used to say, when it's raining and the sun is out, the devil beating his wife, well, she must be doing a good job because it's hot as shit out here. She must be good and he ain't beating her. Because it is hot as shit outside today. Hey, y'all. Y'all saw my baby driving today? I'm sure she did a good job. Y'all, we had to go put gas in the car last night. Let me tell you. She's like, uh-uh, get out the driver's seat. I was like, girl, I wasn't trying to get in the driver's seat. You can have it, sis. It's all you now. It's all you. That's why I told her, like, girl, you can have all that. <laughs> she bought my Starbucks back this water. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. And everything. So, y'all, let me tell you what happened this morning. You know, we have to upgrade on our, our cameras every once in a while. And they sent me an email. And it was literally like $400 off on this camera. And I'm like, babe, babe, 
Can I can I get it? She done my son. No. I was like, babe, we're never gonna see a sale like this again. She's like, no. I said, well, what the hell am I supposed to tell them? She was like, no. I was like, tell them no. It's four hundred dollars off this particular phone, this camera. And she was like, no, ma'am. So I was like, fine. I was like, self. You did a great thing last night by locking up your credit card. Leave your credit card under lock and key. Walk away. The answer's no. So I deleted the email. She was like, maybe for Black Friday. I was like, girl, by then I ain't even gonna want it no more. <laughs> she was like, exactly. She was like, that's why you don't want it now because Black Friday ain't but a couple weeks away and you telling me you're not gonna want it by then? I was like, girl, don't, don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. Just understand, when a sale comes along, it comes along. And when it's a good sale, it's a good sale. Y'all told y'all yesterday, she always getting up in this car, changing these air vents. I don't know what make her think that people would wanna ride, ride around and be hot. Just cause she be cold. She need to adjust these air vents back to where they were when she got in this car. Y'all need to tell y'all friend that. That's what y'all need to do. Y'all need to tell your friend, hey friend, adjust them air vents because we can't be having our girl Reese out here melting. No ma'am, no sir, no, no, none of that. So, um, that's what that is and everything. I was like, let me talk to my people while I go around this quick little, quick little errand, you know, give them some words of encouragement to let y'all know that it's a great day. It's hump day. We done almost made it through this week, y'all. And that's a blessing. Hey, that is a blessing in disguise. I was sitting there at my work desk doing my little work, minding my own business. And I don't know. But I've been told the headset went down. The headset went down. <laughs> and I think it's because they use these cheap headsets. I wish I could buy my own personal headset to attach it. Because, you know, they got the wireless headsets you can use. Yeah, they cost like about $50. But I'm sure they work better than the ones that got the cords. They get tangled up and crossed up. And then they get little kinks and knots and all that stuff in it. But it's all good. They're going to FedEx one. I should have it tomorrow. So it's good. It's all good. It's all good. All is well. I'll go back to job number deuce in a little bit and do what I got to do over there. So then I was saying, you know, we talking out dinner. And I'm like, oh, yeah. I was like, um, we got these pork chops, have some green beans, make some corn. Back to my, oh, who's skinny diet? Girl, that is not a diet. That's a healthy meal. You got your two sides and your meat. She was like, girl, we're going to have some vegetable rice. I was like, everybody don't want no starch, sis. Everybody don't want no starch. She was like, I won't. I said, well, you have your little rice because you don't eat rice like that. I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm just not that kind of person. I don't like rice like that. Don't like pasta at all. I mean, I'll eat it if I really, really have to. But if it, I don't have to, y'all, you know, my mouth is not touching no pasta. It don't like that. It, it's just not something that, it's not an acquired taste for me. Basically, because I'm bougie. She's like, because my taste is so exquisite. <laughs> Y'all have to hear her say that word. She just be like, your 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 pal your 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 taste buds are elevated. <laughs> Cause she be trying to say exquisite and can't say it. Be like elevated. Your your taste buds are elevated. And to me, pasta and rice just don't have no flavor. I don't care what you like. That's why I put butter and sugar on my rice. It got to have some flavor to it. If it ain't got no flavor, I can't do it. I can't. Then, they talking about put some spaghetti sauce on the spaghetti. Hey, y'all be right back with you. I'm going to go ahead and send you what I have now. I'm not for everybody. What you mean? I'm not for everybody. Of course you're not. The fuck you talking about? You're for me. What What you mean? I would just say I'm not for everybody. I'm just, um, you know, trying to be here for... Were you supposed to be for everybody? No, 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 no. So what you saying, sis? Sis, I'm just saying I'm not for everybody. 
Who and I'm not trying to be. Why you Girl, don't start no shit if you don't want no shit. You only for me. What what we talk about here? You okay. only for me, you know that. All right, girl, I'm only for you. That's it. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Now my life almost ended right there. Because <laughs> I'm trying to understand like, what the fuck you just talking about. I'm like, enough for everybody. I ain't trying to be either, girl. I'm just trying to be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only me can take that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, girl, you know I'm for you. You know I'm for you, right? Who else she supposed to be for? You, you for me only, right? Yes, only you. Everybody else, fuck them. <clears throat> fuck everybody. What's up? Well, what's up, happy people? Good evening to you, people. Hey, let your girl talk to y'all for a little bit, y'all. Bay still at work, so I was like, let me just come up in here and talk to the people. Give them a little, drop y'all little gems and stuff, you know. Let y'all know what's good this evening. Hey, first of all, I need to let you know, your reality is created first in your mind. And then it manifests out into your outer world. Because whatever your mental, whatever you mentally and emotionally dwell on, it will manifest in your life. Make sure that you clear your energy every day and dwell exactly on what you want. You can't be around here talking about, oh, I'm going to, um, I'm going to write a book. And then you never sit down to start writing. I'm talking to me now. I'd be like, Girl, you need to go and write this book. And then I get writer's block. What they say, you need a muse. I think that's what they say. It is a muse. Something that inspire you to write. Hey, anyways. But your, your, your reality is created first in your mind. That's the first step to getting anything done. It's in your mind first. Then... What you do is you start manifesting it and you bring it into existence, into your outer world. Because you start talking about it. You start, oh, okay. So I'm going to write this book or I'm going to open my restaurant. These are things that you're starting to manifest into the universe. Because you can't walk around here always being angry because people ain't doing right. Hey, you're not accountable for what other people do. You're only accountable for what you do. So if you walk around here being angry at other people, mm -mm, baby, let me tell you, that ain't the place to do. That ain't the do thing to do. Mm -mm. An easy way to become more positive is by replacing your negative complaints with positive affirmations. Hey, you gotta be positive. You can't be walking around here being a negative Betty and think you're gonna get some positive Peter. <laughs> Y'all know I my favorite saying, you can't borrow from Peter to pay Paul. So you can't be a negative Betty and think you think it's some positive energy from Peter. So things you should be saying to yourself this week is, I protect my inner peace by pushing away negative thoughts. Anytime you start to have these negative thoughts, be like, no, 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 girl, no. You are what you think. So if you're thinking negative thoughts, that's what you are. You're a negative ass person, period. You can be like, I am at peace with who I am. And I'm excited about who I am becoming. I am at peace with who I am. Say it. Just repeat these words to yourself in the morning time. And I'm excited about who I am becoming. Hey, I'm just saying, you got to have a positive outlook at life. You can be like, I'm doing my best today. I am so proud of all the hard days I have survived. Because baby, guess what? We all have survived some of these hard days. And you need to be saying to yourself, 
I'm okay with who I am today. I survived, I survived all them hard days I had to get to this one good positive day. Bitch, you're doing a hundred. Now, this, what I'm about to say, some people gonna miss it. I am not for everybody and I'm not trying to be. Hot down, let me say it again so somebody can understand this. I am not for everybody. <laughs> and I'm not trying to be. I'm trying to be for me. I'm trying to be okay being a positive person. So anything that's negative, of course, we gotta push that away. We can't be having these negative thoughts in our mind and think we're gonna get somewhere in life. Maybe that ain't gonna work. You can go tell your mama, your daddy, your sisters, your brother. You can tell whoever you want to tell. When you got a negative outlook at life, ain't nothing positive gonna come your way. It ain't everybody's fault. Sometimes you have to stop and look in the mirror at yourself and think about it. Am I the common denominator in this situation? Because if I'm the common denominator, I need to reevaluate myself. Because for me, I'm going to protect my peace by pushing away negative thoughts. I'm at peace with who I am and I'm excited about who I'm becoming. I am doing my best today. I'm so proud of myself because of all the hard days I've had. I'm in a good spot today. And the one that I want everybody to listen to and say it with me, I am not for everybody. And I'm not trying to be. I'm a champion. <laughs> I'm a champion. I'm not for everybody. And I'm not trying to be for everybody. First thing you got to do, love you. Excuse me. Love you. And realize that an easy way to become more positive is replaced by replacing your negative complaints with positive affirmations. So on this great hump day, hump day, hump day, y'all, do what you do, what you do, what you do. Go ahead, hit that like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, y'all. I mean, I almost messed it up. I said, like cry. <laughs> Anyways. But tell your mama, your daddy, your sisters, your brothers, your grandma and dads too. I'm not for everybody and I'm not trying to be. I'm just trying to be for M-E. I thought I was going to say you. No, no, no. So hit that like, comment, and subscribe. Tell everybody that you know. It's the recent Fanny Empire, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Good night, y'all. See you later this week. Bye.